Hello, welcome to Thursday's Word for the Day. When we lived in Iowa, we decided to plant some apple trees. We had neighbors with apple trees. Some people in our area even had orchards. We are always looking to save a buck, so we ordered two trees online. And when they arrived, we were disappointed to discover that the trees were about as thick as a pencil. We knew that it would be years before we got any fruit. Years went by, and eventually one of the trees started to produce apples. They weren't any good. They were small and sour, and before they would ripen, they would fall off the tree and rot. Meanwhile, the other tree never grew any apples. These apple trees were good for nothing, except maybe as an illustration of what Jesus taught in Matthew 7, verses 15 through 20. Let's take a look at it today. In verse 15, Jesus says, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will recognize them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? So every healthy tree bears good fruit, but the diseased tree bears bad fruit. A healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a diseased tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, you will recognize them by their fruits. As those who follow Jesus, we need to guard against false teachers who might want to derail our faith. Let's face it, Jesus has enemies. His chief enemy is Satan, and he is eager for our faith to get skewed. There is teaching out there that would cause us to doubt God's goodness. There is teaching out there that will lead us to doubt Jesus' power to save. There are teachers who say they are following God, but their teaching is filled with worldly philosophies. Sometimes it is difficult for us to discern if a teacher is a false teacher. In this passage that we read today, Jesus says to look at the fruit. What is the teaching producing? What does the teacher demonstrate in his own life? Is the fruit of the Spirit present? Is there a love for God and others present in the teaching? Does the teaching generate joy? Is the teaching filled with the peace of Christ? Does the teacher model godly patience? Are kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness produced by the teaching? Does the teacher promote godly self-control? If you can look at the fruit of the teaching and the teacher, you are going to be able to discern if they are worth listening to. I never got around to it, but my two apple trees, they needed to be removed. Then we could have tried to plant some good trees that would have produced good fruit. If you've been listening to some false teachers that produce bad spiritual fruit, let me encourage you to remove them from your life. Make room for some godly teaching. If today's word for the day has encouraged you, please like it, share it, or leave a comment below, and have a blessed day.